Ukraine said it held hard talks on a ceasefire, immediate withdrawal of troops and security guarantees with Russia on Monday. That was despite the fatal shelling of a residential building in Kyiv. Both Russia and Ukraine had suggested over the weekend that results from the talks were in sight. But Ukrainian negotiator Mikhailo Podolyak said he still believed Russia had, quote, a delusion that 19 days of violence against peaceful cities is the right strategy. Talks would continue on Tuesday. A residential building was severely damaged in this blast that rocked Kyiv. A local resident said at least two people were killed. That was after officials said at least one person died in a missile strike on another part of the Ukrainian capital, with a second killed by falling debris. Russia denies targeting civilians in what it calls a special operation to demilitarize and denazify Ukraine. Ukraine and its Western allies call that a baseless pretext for a war of choice. Russia's defense ministry said at least 20 people were killed in the eastern Donetsk region by what it said was a Ukrainian missile with a cluster charge, though it has not provided evidence. Pro-Russian separatists who control the region said earlier a child was among those hit, calling it a war crime. A Ukrainian official denied the reports, which Reuters was unable to corroborate. The UN Human Rights Office said its monitors in Ukraine had confirmed the deaths of at least 636 civilians, including 46 children. The actual toll is likely much higher, it said. In the besieged southern port city of Mariupol, alone, more than 2,500 residents have been killed so far, according to a Ukrainian presidential adviser. Reuters couldn't verify that figure. This drone footage of Mariupol was filmed by Azov, a former right-wing paramilitary which is now part of Ukraine's National Guard. The configuration of the buildings matches satellite photography. The Kremlin said everything was going to plan after one of Putin's closest allies, National Guard Chief Viktor Zolotov, said the operation was going more slowly than hoped. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov said Russia has enough military clout to accomplish its aims in Ukraine on time and in full, including taking major cities.